Today we'll be talking about what are the delays in computer networks. So basically there are four types of delays in computer networks. First is transmission delay. So what is transmission delay? Suppose we uh, think of a topology where there is a sender and there is a receiver and there is a communication link between them and you wanted to say uh, you want to send a packet which consists of bits right so the time taken by the packet to come onto the link is known as transmission delay so this packet with, which can consist of the bits and that time which uh, which it takes to come onto the link is known as transmission delay So let us think what are the factors that are you know that affect this transmission delay. First we can think of the bandwidth and second is the length of the packet. So let us derive a relation between these two and the delays of uh, that is transmission delay. Alright. So more will be the length of the packet, more will be the delay, right? And more will be the bandwidth less will be the transmission delay so we can represent this transmission delay uh, with the help of this uh, t, uh, uh, td all right so now we can uh, derive a general formula which can you know that will be td equals to length that is directly proportional and inversely proportional will be the bandwidth so this is the general formula for transmission transmission delay now We'll be talking about propagation delay, which is the second type of delay. So there is a sender and there is a receiver. We talked about this transmission delay, which takes time of uh, you know packet to come onto the link, right? So there is a packet onto the link. Now it consists of the bits. So the time taken by the last bit to travel from the link to the receiver is known as propagation delay so now let us think what are the factors that affects this propagation delay first will be the distance between sender and receiver and second will be the velocity of transmission if you use optical fiber that will be less propagation delay so we can derive a uh, you know general formula for propagation delay let us think of you know first the relation between distance velocity and the propagation delay so more will be the distance more will be the delay propagation delay and more will be the velocity less will be the propagation delay we can rep represent it by tp so what we can say is tp equals to distance upon velocity so this is the general formula for uh, propagation delay so now let us talk about what is queuing delay which is the third type of delay we have queuing delay so there is a sender and there is a receiver and between them there is a communication link now our packet is here so now the time taken by the packet and before that there is a queue or a buffer you can say where there are many packets okay so the time taken by this packet that is our packet that we have transmitted so the time taken by this packet to pass from this buffer and to reach up to the processing area that is before being processed so that is known as queuing delay There is no general formula for queuing delay because queuing delay depends on, on the processing speed of the receiver. So there is no general formula for this. Alright. So now we will be talking about the four type of delay that is processing delay. Now we know that the packet has re reached this processing area. Now the time taken by the packet to get processed by the processing area or the processor of the receiver is known as processing delay and a 
again it depends on the processing speed of the receiver so there is no general formula for this uh, processing delay so we can consider queuing delay and processing delay as formula less so this was all about the different delays of uh, computer networks and thanks for watching